Hi, I'm Charles Carter with Case H. Today we're going to be discussing overlap and boundary control setup with the AFS Pro 700. So the first thing we're going to do when we go in to set up our overlap and boundary control is go to Toolbox and select our Overlap tab. From here, we're going to select the drop down underneath Overlap Control, turn that to On. The first thing we're going to notice is our percent overlap. Your percent overlap is going to be how much of your section has already entered a already seeded or planted area before it shuts off. It's going to default out at 99%. When we look at our start early distance, that's going to be how soon we start turning the meters when we're coming out of our headlands. This number is editable to account for infield performance. You can go in and select what distance you need that to start at. When we look at our stop late distance, this is going to be to account for infield performance when going into the headlands. Again, this is an editable number that we can select based on our infield performance. For those of you who are using defined boundaries on your field, we also have the option of boundary control. Again, go in, select your drop down menu, turn that on. Once you've turned that on, it, you'll have the option to select your percent out of bounds. This is going to be the percent of each planter section that when out of bounds will stop planting. Default on that is 1%, but can be adjusted as needed for infield performance. Also, make sure your control layer is properly selected. For a planter operation, we're going to be looking at coverage, which is going to be your already seeded area. When in, field, when in the field running the planter, at any time, if there, it's necessary to turn off your overlap control, you can have this set on one of your user-defined windows on your run screen and give you the ability to turn your overlap control on and off as needed for specific operations. If you have any additional questions about overlap or boundary control, please consult your operator's manual or contact your local Case IH dealer.